Hi friends, welcome back to Inspo English. Uh, see friends, these days we were discussing the different aspects of noun, like uh, noun classes, noun number, noun cases, etc. And today I am uh, here to discuss another aspect of uh, noun and that is noun gender. Usually when we speak about uh, uh, genders, what comes to our mind is masculine gender and feminine gender. But there are two more genders. They are common gender and neuter gender. Okay, before we start the discussion, let me ask you, what do you mean by gender? What does uh, that mean or what does it refer to? It refers to the sex of uh, living beings, persons and animals. So as I said, there are four uh, different genders. They are masculine gender, feminine gender, common gender and neuter uh, gender. As you know, masculine gender uh, is a term used to refer to all names of uh, male persons and animals. Feminine gender is a term used to refer to all the names of female persons and animals. And then what about uh, uh, common gender? Common gender is a term uh, that can be used to refer to uh, male and female at the same time. Okay, that's why it's known as common uh, gender. And uh, finally, we have a neuter gender. And that is a term which can be used uh, to refer to inanimate objects, lifeless objects or non-living uh, things. Okay, so let's come to the details of it. And today, I would also like to discuss the different ways of forming the uh, feminine gender. There are some uh, five ways noted. Let's come to all that. So masculine gender, all names of male, animals and persons. Example, uh, examples, boy, man, ox, cock, dog. Then feminine gender, all names of female persons or animals. I have selected the same, uh, the feminine gender of the same words. So boy, girl, man, woman, ox, cow, cock, hen, and dog, bitch. So that is masculine gender and uh, feminine gender. Then common gender, all names that can be applied for both male and female. Friend, a friend can be a male or a female one. Okay, it can be a, a man or a woman, or a girl or a boy. Then minister, uh, our minister for uh, higher education in Kerala, it's a lady and minister for health, again a lady. So we anyway call the minister. So it's a common gender term. Then neighbor, it can be a reference to a male or a, a female. Then student, can be a boy or a girl, child can be a male or a, a female. Uh, for the uh, for children below the age of three, uh, we are not much bothered about their uh, sex. We may even use it. See, uh, it's playing. We may say that's uh, correct. Okay, and uh, teacher. Again, the term teacher is a common gender term. Uh, it can be a male teacher or a female teacher. And coming to the last one, neuter gender. That refers to all names of non-living things or as I said, inanimate objects, lifeless things. Bench, stone, pen, wood, iron, chair, etc. There are any number of terms. Okay. Now let's come to the different ways of forming the feminine uh, gender. The first one, by using separate words. That means the feminine gender term and uh, masculine gender term, they don't have any similarity. Uh, they are uh, entirely different. Okay. So father, mother, king, queen, then nephew, niece, 
Uh, very often this term is mispronounced as nephew and all that. That's not correct. It's nephew and niece. Then second way of uh, forming the uh, feminine gender is by compound word formation. You know what's a compound term? Two words are joined uh, together to express a single idea and they are hyphenated. Okay. In between we have a short hyphen to separate them. So by compound word formation, buck, rabbit, doe, rabbit, cock, sparrow, hen, sparrow. You know, cock, the feminine gender is hen. Uh, the same terms are used in the case of sparrow also. It's added cock, sparrow, hen, sparrow. He got, she got, landlord, landlady. Then third one, by adding the suffix ess to the masculine gender. The core uh, word or the basic term is there as such. No changes are there. Uh, no changes come over it. But uh, we simply add ESS. So that is uh, lion becomes lioness. We simply added ESS. Then count becomes countess. Only ESS is added. The root word is there intact without any change. And God, goddess. So here also we add ESS and it remains the same. And uh, uh, fourth one, by adding ESS in an irregular way, there is no such uh, rule. Uh, some parts are remaining there, uh, but uh, there is difference uh, in the uh, terms. Okay, uh, let's see. Duke, Duchess, DU is there as common, but uh, the last part is entirely different. Here it is KE and here it is CHESS. -E then murderer, murderer. So murderer, here actually the core word murder is there, but uh, here it is ER added, here it is ES. So it's an irregular way of uh, forming uh, the um, uh, feminine uh, gender. And last one. Uh, miscellaneous that means it's a mixed uh, mixed way of uh, uh, forming the uh, feminine gender uh, hero heroine uh, usually this term is also mispronounced uh, heroine as heroine it's not correct it should be pronounced as heroine so hero heroine fox vixen there is no uh, rule as such then widower widow we know the term widow, that's very familiar to us, that widower is not commonly uh, used uh, because we are, people are not aware of that. Uh, so I don't know what term they use. Usually um, uh, they don't use anything. Uh, Malayalam it is different. Okay, Widower, widow. Then uh, bridegroom, bride. Here groom is added to bride and bridegroom is formed for framing the masculine gender uh, then feminine gender is bride sultan sultana these are all different ways of uh, words uh, examples for words uh, uh, of a different way of uh, forming the uh, masculine uh, gender i think it uh, is very useful to you uh, you should watch the video, understand them and use them in your writings and uh, uh, speaking. Uh, I'll be back with another very useful video uh, very soon and that will be uh, probably on articles. We have already seen a video on articles. I will be back with the worksheet on articles so that you can verify your answers. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.